It's time to turn over the academic calendar and begin a new season. College sports are finally back. And here in Oxford, Mississippi, Ole Miss hosts in-state rival Southern Miss to begin 2023. Hi there, welcome up to the booth. This is Ian Banner. My name is Jay Cremata. And, and Ian, uh, the biggest storyline coming into tonight is Ole Miss's new head coach, Molly Rouse. Comes from Utah Tech, takes over for Matt Mott. And she told us yesterday that, you know, Ole Miss right now, they're in a transitional phase and it's a perfectly appropriate time for them to be in the transition phase. Friday Night Lights here on the pitch in Oxford. Back with Ian Banner, my name's Jake Kamada. Ole Miss and LSU, Ian, it's kind of what we expected, right? A lot, lot of this, a lot, lot, lot of tugging, a lot, lot of pushing, right? Listen, I mean, you, 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 you keep pulling it, you can have it after the game, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. No problem. <laughs> but the reason why LSU is down to Ole Miss right now, 1-0, is because of the penalty kick by Kelly Brady. Yeah. And here comes Ole Miss with Grace Freeman in the box. An opportunity. Almost there. Rebound is in. Kelly Brady nets it for Ole Miss. Well, lots to be said about that one. And Alabama to the 18. Jamelli with the strike. Oba flew in. That's why we love this game, isn't it? Baker sent Montgomery down to the ground. Into the box. Oba slides in for the save. That's not something we've seen yet from Oba. Another chance, yeah. it's good! Alabama strikes first. Just the ability to make that half chance, moving the ball half a yard. The wing to King. Shows off some footwork, but one of the best in the SEC and Noel all over her. Yeah, it didn't come. I think that this is very this is very interesting from Ole Miss. Hanging on to the ball, dribbling around, inviting the tackle, and waiting for the, for the mistake to give up the free kick. Rami Noel playing a little defense there, even though she's listed as a forward. So two goals, two assists at this point so far in the season. Yeah, and with her energy and tenacity, we can expect to see her in all four corners of this field tonight. Herman's daughter off her head, but Ole Miss will reset. And Noel, too, with this match, Ian, she'll have played over 5,500 minutes in an LSU uniform. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Already we're seeing that, and I think to be respectful to all the other teams that have played here this season, I think this is the, this is the best start to a game we've seen this season. Up ahead for King. Crosses for Johnson. Off it's of. got to be a penalty kick. The referee has given it. That is a handball in the box. The referee's got memories of the last one. And I think it's fairly clear cut. There it is. Hand in an unnatural position. Clear cut referee in a good position to see it. There it is. Left hand. As she goes out and stops the ball. Penalty kick, all miss. Kelly Brady's going to take it for Ole Miss. It was off the hand of Tori Gillis, number 21. Brady is one for one on like kicks this season. Gillis trying to pull her hand away from it at the last second, but just couldn't avoid contact with the ball. Brady sizes up. Puts it in! That is about as cool as a cucumber. She's popped up. Goal number six for Kelly Brady. And her fourth goal in two matches. When Brady made her run up for that PK, you could hear a pin drop. And so there's enormous pressure on her. And she just acted as cool as cool could be, like it was a training session. Just rolled in on the left-hand post, right-footed. Keeper goes the wrong way. And you see the emotion afterwards as well. Chris Beard's squad and Ole Miss men's basketball celebrating as well. Brilliant from Kelly Brady. The transfer from Central Connecticut. She said, you know, when I was playing at Central Connecticut, I would watch Power 5 teams on SEC Plus or ESPN Plus. And I said, you know what, I can hang with these girls. And as much as I love my time at Central Connecticut, Ian, she said, 
I think there's more for me out there. I want to see if I can challenge myself at this level. And here she is for an SEC school, Ian. Six goals. And he's four goals, too, that have been scored by the Rebels in a season high for Ole Miss. Passing up the three that they had against Southeastern Louisiana. And then quietly in the background, you know Brady's looking for her hat trick. <laughs> See if she can get one more this afternoon. I know we haven't had a hat trick this year. It's probably been a bit. Yeah, it's been a while. Here she is on your screen. Central Connecticut transfer and her teammates said too that nobody has energy like her her energy is infectious and everybody just feels it she's she glows when she's out on the pitch and it helps everybody if you're in a bad mood go see Kelly Brady apparently I was early on today but um, I think that what she started out today was the instructions as I understood it was that she was going to play a little bit wider on the left hand side and uh, she's done that, and she's come in, and she's snuck inside unannounced. Here she is over the middle, unannounced, but we're talking about her. A hat trick! There it is. There it is. So she snuck in and out twice, looking at capitalizing on goalkeeper's mistakes. That's a very different type of goal just there. That's where she makes a great run, gets a pass, picks it up on her left foot, and just rolls it in at the far post. Very cool, calm and collected. Almost got pushed out too wide to the left-hand side, but nips it back on the other side of the goalkeeper. She got no chance with that. How tough was that angle? That was it. Wasn't it? Was it needed a player with with skill and composure?